If you're into science fiction or engineering savvy, you probably have a fascination with robots. But how difficult would it be to actually build a robot? According to MarketWatch's Yuri Doimowicz, it's not as hard as it looks. He's here to discuss. Yuri, how are you? I'm fine, thank All you. All right, I'm sorry I messed up your name at first there. <laughs> no problem, it was close enough. All right, buddy. Uh, what makes these, these toys so popular with tech savvy and amateur people alike? I would actually say it's more with, with amateurs and they're really an entry point. They're more like playing together with the toy blocks. Once you learn the basics, which piece does what, you can really build your own little robot and command it around quickly and effortlessly. It's really easy. Okay, do you see an emerging twin, uh, kind of trend developing with the increased presence of these very increasingly kind of demanding and complex toys? I would say definitely yes, they do have the potential because uh, there is a growth in the AI system and the evolution of really Internet of Things and everything that surrounds us from intelligent devices, from cloud computing and all that really makes these robots like an excellent entry point, a great time for youth and, and everybody else really to get into creating their own little robots and getting them, you know, out on the market. So I, I'd say this is a great time for, for one such a thing. Yeah, you mentioned the youth and what's cool about these is that they actually look like these modular robotic systems actually look a bit like Lego brands. Bricks. Oh yeah, they are definitely do look like Lego bricks, and no soldier, soldering. Sorry, <laughs> no soldering is required. Uh, they can be assembled simply by connecting various pieces together, which are connected either by little magnetic dots or some other mechanisms like Lego. Actually, Lego has their own brand of these kind of robots. And uh, as you assemble them, you will see if you can create a Lego toy of any kind, and really everyone can, then you are you are qualified to be a Lego beginner expert. <laughs> and this is this is really user friendly because you can navigate it on its own using Android apps. Exactly. So a lot of companies like Moss and Lego, which I mentioned in my article, and they both do these modular robots. They have their own apps, and using those apps, you can take your robot for a spin. You can walk it around. You can tell it not to bump into surfaces. You can even code it if you're more tech savvy to have it like uh, perform simple duties, something like Roomba, the the vacuum robot. If you're if you're familiar with. Yeah, it. I've seen so, that. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about some of these robots, like some of them seem to exhibit almost human-like behavior. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I would say more it's like a swarm mentality. So oh, these okay. little robots, they correspond to one another, they take into account one another and react to their environment. And uh, where they're akin to humans is that each part of these little robots, that's why they call modular, each part has its own special purpose. So there is a brain that processes all the data, and there are these appendages like arms or, or legs or, or really any kind of, of, of mo uh, motor um, device that they use to move around. So like we have arms, legs, and brains, so do these robots have different pieces that perform different functions. Uh, and as for the swarm mentality, well, you know, uh, let's say you have a robot built of six or seven different bricks. So they talk to each other. They know where each other, uh, where each brick brick is. And as they see a wall, they know the distance from the wall, so they can avoid it and do and do any other different thing, like a little bee would do in a hive. So let's say you can command all these bees and have them do complex tasks from uh, from your uh, developer perspective, or really, you know, have them do whatever you want. Really quickly uh, here, what's the cost of something like this? It's really cool. Yeah, well, it depends on really uh, what you're going after. At Lego, for $349.99, you will get a programmable brick as a brain, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And you'll also get a number of sensors and parts for building your custom robot. Cubelets. So I, if I if, if I remember, uh, if I um, I, sorry, I told you last time about the swarm mentality. So these cubelets come in this with this swarm mentality of sorts, and you can get them from uh, one fifty nine to one thousand one hundred and thirty thirty eight dollars, from what I remember from the last time I saw it. Also, mass modular systems cost anything from two hundred to six hundred dollars, depending on the configuration you're purchasing. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Really cool stuff there. I know you'll get one. <laughs> Definitely, I will. All right. Thanks a lot, buddy. No problem. Thank you.